Area of composite figures. An irregular figure is a figure that the shape is not familiar to us. So for example, this is an irregular figure because it's not a rectangle, though we do see sort of rectangles. It's not a triangle, it's not a trapezoid or anything like that, so we call it an irregular figure. You can find the area of irregular figures that are also known as composite or compound figures by breaking it into familiar figures. So for example, if I cut off these ends right here, what have I done? I've made three rectangles. I could find the area of this rectangle. That would be four by two, which has an area of eight. I could find the area of this rectangle, which is three by three, so nine. And then I could find the area of this rectangle, which is gonna take a little bit more work. This is nine units here. <clears throat> and then notice that, let me get a different color. Hmm. Notice that this whole side is five centimeters, and then from here to here is two centimeters. So that means that the remaining part right here must be three centimeters. So this would be three by nine, which is 27. So then all I have to do is add eight, nine, and 27 to get 44 centimeters squared. So that's the area of the entire figure. Now there are, there's not just one way to break, the, break up these figures. I could have broken it up like this perhaps and like this and found these three rectangles. There are lots of ways to solve these problems. We are asked to find the area of the composite figure. If you don't have the picture in front of you, you should, but if you don't, copy it down. I want you first to break it into familiar shapes and then find the area. So first, try this on your own. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the shape and I'm going to break it like this so that what I have is a half circle and a triangle. And I'm gonna label the dimensions first. So um, from the center to the outside is 10 millimeters. That's the radius of the circle. The whole entire circle would look like this. So if the radius um, is 10, then that means the whole entire diameter is 20. So this is the whole diameter of the circle, which also is the base of the triangle. The height of the triangle is going to be from the base to the very top of the triangle, and we can form a right angle right there. Now, this height right here, well, if the radius is 10, so we can draw a radius of 10 right here, then this distance right here is also 10. So the height is also 10 millimeters. We should be labeling our units. So let's find the area of a whole circle. That's pi r squared, but I don't want the whole circle. I only want a half circle, so I'm going to divide it by 2. So I have to say 3.14 times the radius is 10 squared. So 3.14 times 100, 314 divided by 2 is 157 millimeters squared. Now we're going to find the area of the triangle. So the formula is base times height divided by 2, so that's going to be 20 times 10 divided by 2, so that's 200 divided by 2, which is 100 millimeters squared. Now, to find the total combined area of the whole entire composite figure, we have to add 157 and 100, so we get 257 millimeters squared. So pause, rewind, make sure you understand how to find this composite area. All right, this is your next composite figure. I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to break it into familiar shapes and I want you to try to solve to find the composite area. So pause and solve. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this shape into a rectangle and a triangle. So I'm going to start with my rectangle, and I know that my rectangle is 22 and 8 
tenths feet by this distance right here, which is 14 and 5 tenths feet. And now I'm going to draw my triangle. And I know that my triangle, the base is right here, which is the same distance as this base. Let me use a different color as this base right here. So this base is the same. So that's 22 and 8 tenths. Now I have to find the height of my triangle, or I could draw my height right here as long as I've got that right angle. Well, if I know that the whole distance is 26 and 5 tenths, and then these two distances are 14 and 5 tenths, then I could subtract 26 and 5 tenths and 14 and 5 tenths and get 12. So I know that my height is 12. So now I'm going to find the areas. Oops. So let's go with area equals base times height. So that's going to be 22 and 8 tenths times 14 and 5 tenths. We're going to multiply that out to get 330 and 6 tenths. And now I'm going to do the triangle. So the base of the triangle is 22.8 times the height of the triangle is 12, all divided by 2. Here's a trick. I could say 12 divided by 2 right off the bat, and I could say 22.8 times, well, what's 12 divided by 2? 6. Or you can multiply and then divide by 2. It doesn't matter. And you get 136 and 8 tenths. Now I have to combine those. Don't forget to combine. So 330 and 6 tenths plus 136 and 8 tenths. And the combined area is 467 and 4 tenths millimeters squared. Pause, rewind as much as you need. Okay, so now I haven't, I didn't, um, on this last figure, I forgot to write in your dimensions. So we have to find the area of the shaded region. So I want a written paragraph that explains to me how you would find the area of the shaded region. So you're going to start with, I would first find something or other, and then I would do this, and then I would whatever. So I want you to write a statement, uh, a couple of sentences about how you would find the area of the shaded region. Please pause and rewind these, the video as much as um, in order to make sure that you understand this and are able to do it on your own. Um, just something to keep in mind, there are many ways that um, make, make sense for solving these problems. Just let the shape break itself in a way that makes sense to you.